All right, we're back with some. Uh, <laughs> Wait, no, I didn't mean it. I literally backtracked from all the way down here to get all the way up there, just so I can start from the very start and work my way down here, just so I could show everyone <laughs> how I got to where I was, because I did record earlier and uh, I actually had no idea how to get where I had to go. So I wandered the caves for about <laughs> literally 50 minutes. Uh, there's no exaggeration at all. Uh, that's the only way you can get up here, I think. There may be another way, but it's the only one I know of. Let me get my stuff. You just gotta wait for him to crouch, and you can just jump over those little bad boys, those little sardines walking around. Uh, either way, yeah, just <laughs> let me get to the spot where I was where my stuff was, uh, and then I'll run through and talk about some of this stuff. Alright, I am back in a, in a much safer spot than I was last time for introductions. Uh, as I vaguely stated a few minutes ago, uh, basically, I, I wandered the cave for about 50 minutes, unaware of where I had to go. Uh, dead end into dead end into dead end, and that kind of just seemed like a waste of time to show everyone, so... Here I am with <laughs> with a whole different set of uh, not material. What well, technically material, but uh, footage, I guess, gameplay. But either way, as you can tell, we are in the fungal waste. Uh, I dropped down straight from the Forgotten Crossroads. Not that complicated, as you can see over there is the Queen Station. But I have not previously gone in this direction last time, and well, as you can tell now, I actually ventured all the way down to the bench. But uh, that was so unenthusiastic by the time I actually found where I had to go. I just, I, I didn't like the recording, so here we are. First, here's an individual, not someone we have to fight. Well, not yet, to my knowledge. I never fought them in my last playthrough. Well, I don't recall doing that. But I'm assuming at some point, <laughs> you have to fight probably everyone. I wasn't hiding, you know, just napping before I head off again. Bound to be facing even more deadly beasts soon. I gotta keep my strength up. I don't remember what she initially said the first time I met her, but uh, it's probably somewhere in the same realm of importance as what she just said. Oh my god, what was that sound? That's a, a little spooky. Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> the tiny steps of a tiny creature. You got the look of an adventurer, so we have much in common. Surging for dangerous places, eh? No, I'm searching for the place I gotta go. It doesn't have to be dangerous per se. Just gotta go somewhere that isn't where I've been already and it's empty or I can't go because there's paywalls. Ubisoft putting up black walls everywhere. Oh my. Okay, searching for dangerous places, eh? Well, you're on the right track. <laughs> Finally, after 30 minutes, I'm on the right fucking track. Where were you earlier? A long necked critter. Uh, I'm assuming the guy from the subway station. Warned me on the tribe deep down warrior swords, so she says that I'm itching for some serious combat. Does that mean me? <laughs> Keep sharp, my adventure. Stay alive, and let's meet again on the road ahead. And actually, now I know how to use the bouncy balloons. Last time I was playing this game, I kind of was just stepping on them, expecting to jump up. But when I was watching recording, something in my head was like, oh, that's right, you're supposed to hit it downwards. Uh, so now actually, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could have gone to this area last time, but just the fact that I didn't do that is the reason why. I just couldn't come to this area just yet. And we here have a door. Uh, I'll probably show it right about now. It's so good. Oh, there's the pretty lady. And is that another victim? I feel like every time I find the pretty lady, there's just corpses on the floor. Is it like she found them, or is there like, like a, a much bigger concern? The last time I was here, I actually saw the pretty lady run this direction. I can't remember what the name is. Silk, I think. And here, oh God. <laughs> and here reads, "Here ends the pilgrim's way. Hollow nest hearts lay open before you. Proceed onward to share in its glory." But as you can see. I can't get over there just yet. I don't know what those things are in the background. Those little railings right there, but I guess you can't grab it. 
Uh, I guess it'd be cheating a little bit if he just monkey barred his way over there. But it, it, it'd make the game a lot quicker, a lot easier. But obviously, since we can't go in that direction, there's only a few options. And I think up here is not one of them. Of course, it's not. It's down here. Don't worry, I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going. There's only so many paths this area can go. Actually, I don't think I went in this direction. I actually, I think I entered this room. But I think it doesn't lead where I need it to go. Maybe so. What's this? Okay, it's just a lever. We'll, we'll take the lever. We'll accept the lever. That way, the queen station is right over there. And now we don't have to trek the long way. And trust me, I know it's the long way. I... <laughs> It's so fucking idiotic. I might just do like a just a quick compilation of why it's not in the video. Oh, uh, if I go up this way, it seems like I can't remember if, if I already went up here. I think I did. Okay, don't want to die. Tell is so unfortunate. I thought these were non-combative, and I oh, he's coming pretty close there. I thought they were non-combative, so I didn't actually want to fight them. But if that's how they're going to play, then... Oh, no, no, I didn't want to fall down here. Okay, I guess that's not that bad. But I actually need to see what's on this side first. Oh, it might just be a worm. Yes, it is just a worm. Okay. A worm and a lever, that's not bad. I guess I should have gone this way the last time. But it doesn't matter. I guess it's better to have shown you <laughs> the lever and worm. But now we can go to the original destination, which is deeper into the abyss. We just gotta dodge a few things here and there. Uh, was there anything in this direction? Can't remember. I think this is actually where I have to go. But then what's over? Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. I don't have... A wall jump maneuver, whatever I need here yet. So you only have one option actually when you actually get to the bottom of the abyss. And then we have these nice little prey mantises, which actually I like prey mantises a lot. The orchard mantis, my favorite of the mantis family. Granted, it's the only one who I know by name. And it's 100% because of Animal Crossing. <laughs> But Prey Mantis is the pretty badass, man, when you look into them, man. They kill things like... I, I, I don't like the whole hummingbird killing thing. That's a little... I like hummingbirds more than I like any insect. I don't care. Oh, I don't care what type of insect you are. Let's, let's be honest. No insect comes close to any bird. And I'm not even that big of a bird fan. But it's just... Insects, man, they're, they're fucking weird. Speaking of birds, we also have the pterodactyls flying around, swooping in. Oh, you see? They fucking parried me! Goddamn kill Bill Dojo, apparently. I'm pretty sure it is. There's a sign somewhere around here. Speaking of signs, it's right here. I'm pretty sure it's like talking about like enter the, enter the dragon type shit where it's talking about like claws and stuff. Wanderer seeking death, welcome. May you find swift and upon our claws. Probably not a reference to uh, Bruce Lee. Can't remember. It's like Enter the Dragon. I never actually watched that movie. But I know, I watch scenes from the movie. I know the main villain, I'm pretty sure, has like a, like a pair of claw weapons. Do I need this person to get up there? Oh, no. What's those balloons for? Probably don't have to go over there. It's probably where I came from. Yeah, I don't know if this is supposed to be like a dojo or something. Because y'all seem to have a, a, a pretty solid fighting stance. Prey Man, oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Prey Mantis is pretty fucking badass, man. I don't like that they kill hummingbirds. That's, you know, it's it's awful to watch. It's really awful to watch. I don't like it whatsoever. But what I do like is that Prey Mantis is killed by every other fucking insect in existence, without any problem whatsoever. You should watch. Oh, if you want to watch a phenomenal video, those killer hornets, dude. You should watch a Prey Mantis versus a killer hornet. No competition at all. Killer hornets. I'm not even worried about them anymore. If they start actually popping up in America, we need to just stop dropping, like, fucking praying mantises into the woods and just let them handle everything. 
We just hope they don't evolve to get any bigger. Let's face it, Prey Mantis is where any bigger. We wouldn't need. Oh, okay. I don't want to miss anything. If Prey Mantises were any bigger, we would have to have a whole defense force against Prey Mantises. They're giant. No, they're really pretty big for insects as is. And they just have giant knives for hands. And they eat everything. I'm telling you, they eat literally every other insect. Even other Prey Mantises. Prey Mantises are pretty up there in the cool category. Okay, needed to see where I could fall. Now these fucking scorpion birds. I don't know about these guys. I don't know what scorpion birds do for us. Actually, I, th I think birds kind of kill hornets. That's something. Anything that kills hornets and any type of wasp. Bees, leave bees alone. Of course, we need bees, mainly honeybees. Every other fucking insect can suck a dick. Uh, I can't get up there. But I can't get these jewels. I never noticed it was little fireflies that pick them up. Well, how do you, why do you get up there? Mm, I'm guessing from the area where I couldn't actually drop down from. I mean, I couldn't actually go up because of the wall. Oh! He was fucking way in. Yeah, I don't know what these guys. It's like some of the insects just seem like they're like really stupid and have nothing going for them. And then others seem to have like established a whole area and forms of writing. So I'm pretty sure the people with the claws are the ones talking about <laughs> dying to their claws. I don't think someone with fucking mittens came down here and started talking about claws. But I wish I could get up there. Imagine I had some claws to grab onto the wall and make this whole game a lot easier. What the fuck? That we already dealt with you. Uh huh, maybe I have to use him to pogo up there. I doubt it's that elaborate. <laughs> oh, but this whole section might be pretty elaborate. I've never been here. I've never been in this section. Well, I don't remember this at, at all. Again, probably need the wall jump. Is this the wall jump? Oh, it is! The mantis claw! I don't know. <laughs> Do are mantis is known for being able to wall jump? I don't know if I've heard that myth. Uh, and I know a lot of prey mantis facts. Predominantly that they eat, <laughs> they eat other insects. That's, that's as far as my prey mantis knowledge goes. Uh, so, while sliding against a wall, jump again. I didn't. Okay. Shout out to the prey mantis, I guess, for inventing wall jumping. Uh, correlation, not 100% sure. I guess they can use their little mittens as. Well, I guess not their mittens. They can use their little claws as like, like uh, like ways of latching onto the wall or something. That's what I have to assume. Now look at that. Oh, this whole game's open now. We're playing a completely different game now. Now we're playing Spider-Man 3 into the Spider-Verse. The truce remains. Our vigil holds. The beasts are kept at bay. Okay, so if, <laughs> so if these bugs aren't the claws they're pertaining to specifically, because they did see a rack of claws in the other room. Maybe you can still see them. Maybe not. There was a rack of claws as some, perhaps the Prey Mantis... <laughs> <laughs> did exactly what I say prey mantis do and there actually isn't <laughs> a race of really smart prey mantis this is a race of really dead people Ugh! oh you could multi jump I didn't know that should we risk that it's just for geoids yeah why not what do I lose I didn't lose anything but I gained something Specifically, 15 geoids. Okay, actually, not worth it. Eh, well, it's not like it. <laughs> not like I lost anything from it again. Oh no, I'm about to lose something. This whole place is about to collapse. I'm about to lose my. Never mind. 